measures of central tendency. Whenever we talk or discuss about any data or characteristics of a group of persons, a set of nations, a group of uh, employees, or a group of companies, etc., we tend to summarize the data with one number. For example, we used to make statements like, the average mark of 60 students in a statistics examination, examination is 92 in 2011, whereas it is 95 in 2012. The, in this statement, the marks of 60 students was summarized into one single figure. That single number or that single figure is 92 in 2011 and 95 in 2012. There are several measures for arriving at this value. These are generally known as measures of central tendency. So measure of central tendency is a number which is used to represent the center or middle of a set of values. There are three such measures. They are mean, median and mode. Mean or average, median and mode. Mean is usually denoted by the symbol X bar. Median is always uh, represent a middle number when the group of data values are arranged in some order, either in ascending or in descending order. Uh, mode is most often occurred value in a group of values. Now mean itself is classified into three types. One, arithmetic mean. Mean is classified into three types, arithmetic mean or AM, geometric mean or GM, and harmonic mean or HM. arithmetic mean or A. For a set of ungrouped values or for a set of individual values, arithmetic mean is defined as sum of the values divided by total number of values. For example, consider the set of values 2, 6, 8, 10 and 12. There are 5 values and their arithmetic mean AM X bar is equal to sum of all the values that is 2 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 all divided by total number of values that is 5. That is 38 by 5, 7.6. So 7.6 is the mean of this set of values.
Now, if the values are x1, x2, etc., xn, and the corresponding frequencies, that is, number of times each value rep uh, repeats, is denoted by f1, f2, etc., fn, then x bar for this kind of values is given by sigma of fx divided by sigma f where sigma fx is the sum of the product of frequencies as well as the corresponding values that is in this case if x1 x2 etc xn are the values and f1 f2 etc fn are the frequencies then the sum is sum of the products can be expressed as x1 f1 plus x2 f2 plus etc xn fn whole divided by sum of the frequencies is nothing but f1 plus f2 plus etc plus fn so sigma fx by sigma f is the prob uh, is the arithmetic mean of this kind of values